Hello everyone, welcome to Jazz Talks. In this video, we are going to see how to draw the development of surface for the square prism in engineering drawing. So first read the question. A square prism of base side 30 mm and axis length 60 mm is resting on HP on one of its base with the side of base is inclined at 30 degree to VP. It is cut by a plane inclined at 40 degree to HP and perpendicular to VP. It is bisecting the axis. Draw the development of remaining portion of the prism. So in the Kurutrikanga, or a square prism model and a development cut no the surface of work in the other top view side of the ganga, thirty one put the ganga, the node front view node axis and develop the ganga, sixty one put the ganga. So with the help of given data, we are going to draw the surface development of square prism. So first our reference line drop on a name this line as X and Y. So this one is vertical plane and this one is horizontal plane. So now what they have given a square prism of base side 30 mm. So or square prism in the top view and the pathang or square shape like three. As we have front view and the pathing or rectangular shape like three. So on the top view and the pathang both the base side to 30 mm base side like this. So in the base on one of its base with the side of base is inclined at 30 degree to VP. In the base side of top view 30 degree VP key inclined directly. So take your protector and place in the inverted position and take 30 degree with respect to VP draw one line like this so 30 degree to VP ki number line drop on top so in the line la number 30 mm base side here so take 30 mm base side of square so take 30 mm base side of square here So now place your protector in this point and take 90 degree. So again place your protector in this point and take 90 degree. So now draw a line of 30 mm from this point. Again draw a line of 30 mm from this point. So now join this point. So, we have to the top view section of the square with base inclined at 30 degree to VP. We have to square the square. Now, we have to name this point as A, B, C, and D. Name the inner square P, Q, R, and S. So, now we extend the projectile lines in order to develop the front view section. So, extend the projectile lines from A point, again from D point, again from B point. And again from C point. So now, number in the B point we the center line So that's why we Join P and R, and again join C and D. Yes. So in the point base O point So in the point we the center line project So extend the projectile lines from O point to. So in the axis sixty mm So Center line longer dash dotted lines on motor in the point learn the in the O point learn the so again extend the projector in order to develop the front view section in this point and again from this point and again from this point 60 mm projector lines and again from this point so extend the projector lines so now join all the points so now we have developed the front view section of the square prism and also the top view section of the square prism so in the front view section again keep on naming body law name this point as p point so in the inner square for p point next q point this one is r point and this one is yes so again name this a b c and so, we have a front view section developed by top view section. So, again, what is it? So, again, what is it? It is cut by a plane inclined at 40 degree to HP and perpendicular to VP. So, in the front view, 40 degree cut off. What is the distance? It is bisecting the axis. So, in the distance, in the 40 degree inclination angle cut off. So, in the distance, 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 so, at the midpoint, we have a base. So, we have a reference line. So, 
so normal uh, for reference line drop only place your protector in this point and take 40 degree and draw an inclination angle like this right so if for 40 degree inclined to hp and perpendicular to vp it is bisecting the axis so the inclination angle 40 degree with respect to hp ki nama draw panto so now dark and the retainable position in order to obtain the development so in the surface da nama develop panni kaata porom so now name this section name this as 1 2 3 and 4 so now we are going to draw the development of remaining portion of the prism so the reference line you know nam extend panikala so in order to develop the remaining portion of the prism take your compass and take measurement from p to q at any point as a center this point as a center cut an arc like this and name this point as p and name this point as q again from this point as center cut an arc and name this point as r again from this point as center cut an arc and name this point as s again from this point as center cut an arc name this point as p so p to p ge nam arc cut panirukom so now we are going to extend the projector lines in order to development in order to develop the remaining portion of the prism so extend the projector lines from this point and again from this point now we have extend the projector lines now we are going to develop the remaining portion of the prism so before going to draw the remaining portion of the prism name this line a b c d and a so ipo paarenga p to a in the p to a line la enna point irukudu in the first point irukudu so name this point as 1 so again q to b so q to b in the line la third point irukudu so name this point as 3 so again r to c so c r to c in the point la fourth point irukudu so again take motion again c s to d so in the s to d la s to d la in the second point irukudu so mark it as 2 again from p to a la in the first point irukudu so mark this point as 1 so now join all the points in order to develop the remaining portion of the prism so join from p to 1 again join from 1 to 3 again join from 1 to 4 again join from 4 to 2 again join from 2 to 1 so so now dark and the retainable position in order to develop the remaining portion of the prism so this is the square prism surface development 